Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadr Aqil. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Law 34 of 2017, amending the provisions of Law 28 of 2002 concerning electronic transactions after it was approved by the Shura and Representative Councils. The Prime Minister and Ministers shall implement the law and it is to be effective the day following its issuance in the official Gazette. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghadaybiya Palace today a number of royal family members, businessmen and senior officials where he discussed with them the latest local issues. He affirmed that Bahrain's rich heritage and culture should be preserved and be passed on from generation to generation. His Royal Highness added that the traditional craft should be developed towards more productivity through promoting them in various events. He said that the Bahraini citizen's sophistication has created a civil model in development and has earned the respect of the world. He also affirmed the continuity of the march towards maintaining the social and economic gains of the kingdom. The Premier noted the government's keenness on supporting the pivotal role of the private sector and businessmen in advancing the national economy and in participating effectively in development plans and economic policies. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the concluding ceremony of the Ironman World Championship in Chattanooga. Officials, contestants, team players as well as local and international media agencies also attended the event. The winning contestants were honored during the ceremony. Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the Bahraini team succeeded in achieving its goal behind participating in the event which is to show the world behind development, particularly in the sports and in sports in general, as well as to affirm the status of the kingdom as a strong competition in international events. His, uh, rather His Highness added that efforts will continue to be exerted to promote the kingdom in the most prominent sporting events around the world to highlight the development achievements of Bahrain under the prosperous reign of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Sheikh Nasser expressed pride in the achievement of the Bahraini team in the professional category for both men and women after contestants Daniela Reeve and Javier Gomez won the Ironman World Championship. His Highness commended the positive participation of the Bahraini delegation in the Ironman Championship and the positive results they achieved in the race. He expressed appreciation for the efforts exerted in preparation for the race to promote the kingdom and reinforce its status in the sports. He affirmed continued support to all Bahraini athletes to develop their skills and abilities. Sheikh Nasser also met with a number of Ironman champions who have expressed their appreciation to His Highness's efforts to develop and spread the game and to support athletes, which has reinforced the sports in the Middle East. His Highness also met with the Emirati team members participating in the championship, where he praised their efforts and keenness to take part in the race. He also hailed their technical skills and wished them success in their future participation. For their part, the team members expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness for his support and patronage of the sports, congratulating him on the outstanding national achievement. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed Ibrahim Al Mullah, held a round of talks with the Prime Minister of South Korea, Lee Nak at the Korean capital, where Al Mullah conveyed to the Premier the greetings of the leadership. 
Mr. Nakion underscored that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, is moving steadily and firmly towards reform and democracy and is able to be among the Gulf region's top countries in the economic and trade sectors. He added that Bahrain, under its wide leadership, shares South Korea's efforts in combating the threat of terrorism and the preservation of national and international peace and security, hailing in this regard the growth and development in the kingdom's foreign policy. And Mullah lauded the bilateral relations, citing the visit as a symbol of parliamentary friendship that brings together the, the two friendly countries, expressing his appreciation to South Korea's supportive stances towards Bahrain in regards to the acts of terrorism it faced. Al Mullah noted the importance of transferring the Korean experiences in the fields of health and technology to benefit vital projects in Bahrain. The Minister of Housing, Engineer Basim bin Yaqub Al Hamar, United Nations Resident Coordinator and Resident Representative of the United Nations Development Program, Amin Al Sharqawi, and the head of the United Nations Program for Human Settlement in the Arabian Gulf region, Dr. Tariq Al Sheikh signed today a joint cooperation project to renew housing policies. The project aims at implementing housing strategies in Bahrain in line with the latest economic, social, and environmental developments and is expected to introduce new national housing plans that were previously discussed with benefactors from the private sector, which offers opportunities to enhance partnership with all sectors. The project is one of the top priorities of the government work plan 2015 to 2018. The minister noted that the kingdom is considered one of the pioneering countries in the region in providing housing services to its citizens, adding that the Ministry of Housing has worked to provide more than 25,000 housing, housing units by the year 2018, thus implementing the Royal Directives to build 40,000 housing units for Bahraini citizens. He added that another 15,000 houses will be provided in the upcoming years. The Ministry of Health won the Excellence Award for Arab Government Achievements 2017. The ministry has won the award after it submitted its integrated primary health care system, health centers. The Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed al Saleh, expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, for his continued support to be the health sector to the health sector, which resulted in this achievement. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. Bahrain All Share Index closed today at 1,307.6 points, marking a decrease of 3.04 points below the previous closing. The decrease was due to the fall in the commercial banks and investment sectors, and investors mainly traded in the investment sector, representing 51% of the total value of traded shares. 54 equity transactions took place with a volume of 1,331,958 worth 255,282 Bahraini dinars. The Central Bank of Bahrain announced that the monthly issue of the short-term Islamic leasing bonds, Sukuk al-Ijara, has been subscribed by 100%. Subscriptions worth 26 million Bahraini dinars were received for the issue, which carries a maturity of 182 days. The expected return on the issue is 2.75% compared to 2.52 for the previous issue. This is the issue number 145. Aluminium Bahrain, the first aluminium smelter in the Gulf, has been making steady progress with the execution of the flagship development, the Line 6 expansion project. The site preparation, earthworks and concrete works continue to ramp up with the overall project progress at 25% through the end of July, including 50% progress in engineering and 70% progress in procurement and contracts. 
In addition, the first structural steel is scheduled for erection in the new pot room this month. This game changer, which involves the construction of 6th pot line, a 1,792 megawatt power station and other industrial services, is expected to begin production by 2019 and will boost the smelters per annum production by 540,000 metric tons bringing its total production capacity to 1.5 million metric tons per year. Batalco has announced its Platinum Sponsorship of the Bahrain Sustainable Smart Cities Forum 2017, which will take place on September 17th and 18th at the Romy Grand Hotel. The event, under the patronage of the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Hassan bin Abdullah Khalaf, will bring together individuals and organizations that are part of the changing landscape of Bahrain as it evolves its digital and ICT capabilities. A number of experts from leading organizations, including Batelco itself, will give presentations on the latest technologies which are playing a key role in streaming the day-to-day -day running of businesses across all sectors in Bahrain.